coming. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. Ronaldo, and it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Yes, people, what is happening? Shadow Hunter is back once again, and I'm coming at you today with a brand new FIFA 21 Ultimate Team player review video if you are new here and if you want to support this channel make sure to like and subscribe as we post amazing daily gaming videos in today's video guys we're going to be reviewing the insane new flashback cristiano ronaldo card that you can do now in the sbc in fifa 21 ultimate team Cristiano ronaldo received a flashback sbc in fifa 21 is actually a rating downgrade to an 87 and and goes back to his early days at manchester united however this card is still at juventus although the card is rating downgrade this is still ronaldo he keeps his iconic in-game body shape and the five star skill moves along with fantastic pace for around 200k to 300k at this stage in the game pretty much anyone can get their hands on cristiano ronaldo which is pretty awesome. So is this Ronaldo card worth it for the price? The community is pretty divided about Ronaldo. For those who can afford the more expensive version of the card, sure, the 87 rated version of this card might seem a bit silly if you already own the higher rated version. However, many people don't have a million coins to spend on a single player. This card is designed for the casual FIFA lovers. A novelty card guys, that allows players who aren't constantly grinding or spending money to play with Cristiano Ronaldo. Now these are his states, he got 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 79 shooting, 30 defense, 75 passing, 72 physical. It is an 87 rated right wing card, absolutely insane. Obviously, this card is a big downgrade on the other version of Ronaldo, and at this stage of the game, the card is probably already behind the power curve of hardcore FIFA players or spenders. Ronaldo only has 79 shooting and 79 balance as well. The in terms of positives in this card, guys, the pace. The pace tests are still strong, and his dribbling is also very good. It is definitely a fun card to use, guys. For 200-300k, you can definitely also get your hands on different and better suited cards for the meta at this stage of the game however those cards aren't going to be ronaldo this is pretty cool concept for an sbc could ea have done it a little better yes probably but the concept is absolutely amazing 100 this is a novelty card guys a pretty fun idea for an sbc from ea and something that you probably shouldn't take too seriously it gives casual player an opportunity to play with one of the most iconic players in modern football and that's a great idea from ea so in my opinion this is 100 or i should say 700 worth it guys get your hand on ronaldo there are players that are playing fifa ultimate team from day one and they still haven't packed or played with ronaldo at all for those players, it's finally the end of the misery. Now you can do the SBC and get Cristiano Ronaldo and play him in your team. For me, definitely worth it, no question about it. There you have it guys, that's all there is for this player review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Come in front, yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Opening goal of the game then. Marvellous piece of play from deep on the other side. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Torres.
Coming. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw in. Ronaldo, and it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him, and no wonder he's not celebrating. So the current scoreline 4 2. Just not looking confident in possession. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. The opening goal of the game then. Marvellous piece of skill. So 2-0 now. 